All right, in today's video, we're gonna go over seeding your tables from within your migrations using Laravel. So to start off, I've made a simple migration file. It's creating a permissions table with the ID, name, slug, description columns. And then it made a simple seeder class, which just seeds that permissions table with three rows, administrator, editor, and guest. And it's important for in my application that these three rows always exist because I reference them from within my code base. So what I'm gonna do is, in my migration file, I'm going to create my table. And then right after that, I'm going to seed my permission seeder using the artisan facade um, call command. And what that'll do is call the db seed artisan command with the class property of permission seeder. So we can take a look at this to see what it looks like. And then we'll check our table. And in here, I refreshed. It didn't exist before, but now it exists with the three rows. Uh, and then what we can do is we can roll this back to see that it's it's going to get deleted and go away. So we'll just quickly refresh. Permissions table is gone. Now this is great. Uh, this is fine, except for when you go to deploy this in production. So let's try that. So we'll change our environment to production. We'll go to migrate. And first Laravel is asking us, are you sure you want to migrate in production? We say yes. And then what happens here is we are get, this migration gets stuck, basically, because what has happened is when we went to run the seed command, um, it basically asks us the same question. Are you sure you want to seed this in production? And we're unable to answer that because it's lost. So what we can do is there's another flag you can put here called force. And that'll force the migration or the seeder to run regardless of production or local, etc. So what I'm going to do is refresh my tables again, delete the permissions table. So we can confirm that it's not here. And then we can run migrate one more time, this time in production with the force flag. It's asking us, do you want to run this migration in production? We say yes. And then because the force flag is true, it just instantly migrates and seeds. And that leaves us with permissions table with default rows. All right, there is a text version of this snippet at my blog, owenkanji.com. So feel free to check that out. Otherwise, thank you for watching. Please like the video, subscribe to the channel, and follow me on Twitter at Owen Conti for more updates.